Question number seven, Darren Fenton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Question to the Minister of Labour. What is the timeline of the ministerial inquiry into the treatment of foreign fishing crews in New Zealand waters? Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Mr. Speaker, no timeline has been set as we're still working through the terms of reference and panel membership. Darren Fenton. The Minister, does she consider that the testimony of the Ouyang 75 crew, who have suffered serious human rights abuses and breaches of New Zealand labour laws, is an important part of the inquiry? If not, why not? The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Uh, Mr Speaker, I accept that there have been some very serious allegations made, uh, and that is why one of the reasons why we're having a ministerial inquiry. Point of order. The Hon. Trevor Mallon. Uh, Mr Speaker, the, the, the question was very clear as to whether their testimony was important. I invite the member to repeat a question. Darren Fenton. Speaker, to the Minister, does she consider that the testimony of the Ouyang 75 crew, who have suffered serious human rights abuses and breaches of New Zealand labour laws, is an important part of the inquiry? If not, why not? The Hon. Kate Wilkinson. Uh, Mr Speaker, it is not, it's not my responsibility to judge whether the testimony is appropriate or not. That is an operational matter and is subject to, an on, is subject to the current investigation which is undergoing. Darren Fenton. Darian Fenton. Why then? Yes. Darian Fenton. Why then is she determined to deport the Ouyang 75 crew this Saturday and send them home to fines of up to $5,000 each for breach of contract, while those responsible for the abuses have not been held to account, even though her department's uh, advice to foreign crew on its website is that New Zealand does not tolerate violence against workers or unsafe working conditions. Point of order, the Honourable Chris Finlayson. I, and I make this as acting, acting leader. Uh, question seven is a very precise question, and it uh, concerns ministerial inquiry. Now we're ranging forth into deportation. Well, I think you know, the, the, the question asked about the timeline for the ministerial inquiry and the treatment of foreign fishing crews, these supplementary questions relate to uh, matters to do with a particular foreign fishing crew. Now, maybe the minister doesn't have particular information, although this is a ministerial inquiry, and, and I don't think it's unreasonable to link these questions to this primary question, whether the minister can be expected to have detailed information on any particular elements and other matter. But I think we've now... I, I asked the member to repeat a question because now the House has probably lost track of what exactly what it was. Darian Fenton. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Why is she determined to deport the Ouyang 75 crew this Saturday and send them home for fines of up to $5,000 each for breach of contract, while those responsible for these abuses have not been held to account, even although her department's advice to foreign crew on its website is that New Zealand does not tolerate violence against workers or unsafe working conditions? Before I call the Minister to answer, I now understand the uh, the uh, acting acting leader of the House is concerned that that question is focused, I believe, on the minister's role as Minister of Immigration. Now, the minister is being questioned in her role as Minister of Labour. She's welcome to answer what part she can as Minister of Labour, but I accept she's not under this question responsible as Minister of Immigration. Uh, Mr. Yeah, Mr Speaker, thank you for answering the question for me. As Minister of Labour, I have no responsibility for decisions on de deportation. A supplementary question, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Did Order. she, as Minister of Labour, ask the Minister of Immigration to ensure that the uh, individuals who have been abused physically and sexually are still in the country in order to give their testimony to the inquiry which the Minister of Labour is setting up? The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Mr Speaker, I understand that no such de de decisions regarding deportation have been made. <laughs> Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Mr Speaker, because I hadn't written it down, I can't read it out again, but it certainly started uh, on, uh, on the question of whether there had been communication in order to ensure that the people are still here to give their testimony. Indeed, that was the question the member asked, whether the Minister of Labour had advised the Minister of Immigration, uh, asked the Minister of Immigration about these people still being in the country to give uh, their testimony. And I think that, that is the Minister actually answered it as she might as Minister of Immigration. The question is to her as Minister of Labour, and it was a fair question as Minister of Labour, asking if she'd advised the Minister of Immigration. And I think that is worthy of answer. 
Uh, the Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Uh, Mr Speaker, as Minister of Labour, there is frequent uh, communications with the Associate Minister of Immigration. <laughs> well, order, order. This is a serious issue. Uh, this is a, an issue that has attracted some public attention. There is some public interest in this matter. Uh, the, the Minister has been asked whether, as Minister of Labour, she has advised the Minister of Immigration as to her views on, on, on this matter, or asked the Minister of Immigration uh, something to do with the, the, these, this crew that could be involved in this ministerial inquiry possibly being deported. And I don't think it saying frequently advises the Minister of uh, uh, Associate Minister of Immigration is quite good enough. I, I realise it's the same person. But uh, the question deserves to be treated with some seriousness because uh, a ministerial inquiry is being established by the government. Uh, people who, it would appear from the questioning, people who could possibly uh, be deported from New Zealand uh, may be reasonably expected to be involved in such an inquiry. And I think a reasonable answer, because the question I think was a reasonable question. I accept it's the same person, which makes it a little unusual, but I still think it's worthy of, of, of serious answer. Comments, comments. Oh, I beg your pardon. That was, I accept that totally. I accept my error there. So I asked the, uh, the minister if she could answer a little more fulsomely. Mr Speaker, I am advised that the department is working closely with the crews to try and resolve the current situation, but I understand that no final decisions have been made. Of course there have been discussions between the minister, me as Minister of Labour and the Minister of Immigration and me as Associate Minister of Immigration, but no decisions have been made by the Min D Department of Labour or the Minister or Immigration Service. I thank the Minister. Point of order, the Honourable Ruth Dyson tabled the email from the Minister of Immigration in response to my request that the crew outlined in this question be allowed to stay in New Zealand while their abuse allegations and their non-payment of due wages were investigated and the Minister's, uh, Minister of Immigration's response refusing to intervene. Order. It's the members just seeking to table the document. Leave us sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Point of order, Darren Fenn. A table uh, letter from the office of the Honourable Kate Wilkinson to myself, writing in reply to a request from me that she intervene uh, in the issue of the Ouyang 75 crew and uh, waive the $550 fee to allow them to appeal their de deportation order. Leave is sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. A supplementary question, Darren Fenton. The Minister, has she, as Minister of Labour, asked the Minister of Immigration whether the Ouyang 75 crew and the Shinji crew can stay past deportation dates to assist with further investigations should it become apparent that there is evidence of human trafficking? The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Uh, Mr Speaker, that specific question has not been asked, but I understand and, ad and am advised that the Department is working very closely with the crews to try and resolve the, the current issues in the situation. Uh, the Honourable Trevor um, Further to her earlier answer that she had no operational responsibility for the details of the ministerial inquiry, if she doesn't, who does? The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Uh, I, Mr Speaker, I refute that, that question because I, that's not what I said. Rahui Katane. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister, what was the key issue which caused the government to change its mind about a ministerial inquiry into the fishing industry between when I called for such an inquiry on 5 April 2011 and three months later on 14 July when the government made its announcement? The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the member is quite, was quite right to be concerned about the issue back in April. The subsequent and further allegations have since emerged and the government considered a ministerial inquiry was required and appropriate. 